the prime minister has resigned, but he doesn't know where to submit his resignation letter because people are too scared to receive it. Women are being raped, paraded naked. Muslims are having cross marks put on their door. They are fleeing. And he's tweeting, I had appam last night for dinner. situation where women are justifying rape, where women are telling men to rape other women. I'm talking about not just Manipur. I'm talking about so many cases, whether it's in Hathras, whether it was in uh, JNK, where depending on who is raping who, the women stand up for that community. This means we've gone psychotic. We have a situation where in uh, Haryana recently, you have people who are accused of murder, of burning two Muslim men alive, leading a religious procession. You have a situation where the police are handing over women to a mob to be raped. You have a situation where a railway protection force officers walking down bogies shooting Muslims and saying you must vote for Modi. And it's a mistake to think this person is mad, this person is sane, this person is just absorbing all the propaganda day and night that's coming out at him. I live in Delhi, I am so scared on the road. One little thing happens and 50 men with orange scarves will come. You might be just going home from Delhi to Aligarh to see your parents, you'll end up, you can end up dead. This is the country that we are living in now. And from Manipur to Haryana to all the other states that are going to stand for election, it's like a fuse is being lit. I was thinking, you know, there's a rumor that the prime minister has resigned, but he doesn't know where to submit his resignation letter because people are too scared to receive it. But that man is missing. There's a war, women are being raped, paraded naked, squatter colonies are being burnt, Muslims are having cross marks put on their door, they're fleeing. And he's tweeting, I had appam last night for dinner. This is the Prime Minister. People are openly going to cinema halls, watching Kashmir files and saying we should rape Muslim women. People are openly on the streets with swords, with guns, there was that man, one of the men who led the march into, um, into Nuh in Haryana. He said, he said, Aap log ho jao, tumhara damad aa hai. Means, your son-in-law is coming. Means, I'm going to rape your women. That's what it means. And it's okay. He's posing with the police. They're all taking pictures. In Delhi, when, those, when the massacre happened in Northeast Delhi, policemen forced Muslim men who were dying on the road, kicking them and making them sing the national anthem. How will history remember us if we don't speak, every one of us? 